Hi, my name's Brian Davis, and welcome to Brian Davis Scuba. This is a video I've wanted to make for quite a while. It's about the MV Dara, um, our most historic wreck. Um, it has a tragic history, unfortunately. Um, it involved the loss of 238 lives. Um, and at the time, in 1961, was the biggest um, human loss of life at sea in peacetime after the Titanic. So you can understand why it's got a lot of history. Um, as I said, it sank in 1961. It was um, her, the Dara and her sister ship, the Dwarka, used to sail between the Indian subcontinent and the Persian or Arabian Gulf, depending on where you're viewing this from, and used to call at all the ports. It was, in fact, in many ways, the modern day fly Dubai or EasyJet. So if you wanted to go home and you'll leave or you wanted to visit the Gulf from the Indian subcontinent, generally you came on a passenger vessel. The Dara was owned by the um, British India Steam Navigation Company and she set sail from Mumbai on the 23rd of May 1961. She arrived um, and she was uh, destined for Basra. She arrived in Dubai on the 7th uh, of April, calling into Dubai. Um, in those days, there, there was no harbour. You would anchor off slightly offshore and ferry um, cargo and passengers on smaller vessels into the creek. Weather conditions weren't great. There was very high seas, very high winds, and the Dara struck another vessel, or another vessel struck the Dara. So the captain decided to go out further out to sea. On the 8th of April at approximately 4 o'clock in the morning there was a massive explosion uh, and, the, and the, the ship um, caught fire and the captain gave the order to evacuate the ship. The cause of the explosion, although there's still no uh, concrete evidence, was believed to have been um, ex an explosives either being transported on the Dara or um, set off on purpose by Omani insurgents. But as I say, the British Board of Inquiry, um, British Admiralty Board of Inquiry, could not come up with any conclusive proof or conclusion as, as to why that was. So the passengers were evacuated. Um, it was very um, um, bad weather conditions, so a lot of people um, lost their life as they evacuated from the, the ship. Um, the Royal Navy um, was in attendance, several other um, vessels, a British Army tank landing craft, and they managed to um, get all the people um, off the ship, but sadly many, many perished. Um, the Dara um, didn't sink that night. Um, many people believe it did. It was actually um, Again, an American destroyer and some British and Royal Navy warships put out the fires. She was taken in tow by the MV Ocean Salva, a salvage vessel out of Glasgow. And while under tow, she sank on the 10th of April, 1961. So that's a brief history of the, the tragic loss of the Dara. Um, we were lucky to dive it recently in nearly perfect conditions. Um, she lies off Umul Quain and, and is subject to very strong currents a lot of the time. Um, we managed to dive her just at the right time. There's now a buoy on her, I'll explain about that shortly. Um, we had good visibility, no current, so my buddy and I decided we'd just go from stern to, to bow following the seabed so we could photograph as much as the wreck for you to see um, and it was it was fantastic um, we did um, see a superb hawksbill 
turtle. I really enjoy seeing hawks build back on the wrecks because it goes to show that the efforts um, to save them are really working here. The UAE government does a fantastic job in trying to save turtles in general and the hawks build in particular. The other positive thing about the, the Dara now as a dive site is she used to be full of nets. Um, fishermen used to fish along the coast and nets would drift along and the Dara became completely, um, you could say, encapsulated in nets. And thanks to Abdullah and the Dubai Voluntary Dive Team, they've spent um, several weeks, if not a couple of months, removing all the nets from the Dara. And it's amazing what they've done. Really, really, we have to say a big thank you, a big shout out to the DVDT, as I call them, and Abdullah. Thanks for doing that. You've really brought the site back to life. And through the DVDT, um, the government of Umul Quain is now taking um, a big interest in the Dara. There's now uh, a temporary buoy attached to the, to the wreck, and they're going to put a permanent buoy, so you'll be able to easily find it and more up there. It's also being made a uh, marine protected area, a no fishing zone, which means the fish life will increase. It's already good as you see from the video, but it's really, really good. So enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. Just going through the new Shindaga Bridge, um, which I think will be the fourth bridge crossing in Dubai. They've nearly got it closed as you can see. And for the first time this week, we're gonna go along what I call the Corniche Canal, um, which is a stretch of water connecting or separating Deera Islands from Deera. And we understand now that the, the bridges been opened and the um, roadways beneath them have been removed so now it's a canal so that will knock at least an hour to an hour and a half off our journey time to the Dara because the Dara is off an emirate called Amul Kuwait. you can see there nice wide channel all the trading dows now more alongside there. Those buildings in the far background are in the Emirate of Sharjah. So the end of the canal is very close to the Sharjah border. We'll just pop out there. very humid when we came to the boat this morning but now the humidity seems to have dropped and it's nice weather. Well this big development we've just found out because there's a big sign says it's the night market so I don't know when it's going to be open, but it's going to be a bit huge market, that's for sure. What's interesting is, it seems you can come by boat to here and moor up and go to the market. That will be tremendous. We were concerned that the bridge might be too, we may be too high to go under this bridge. But we checked with some of the captains last night and they confirmed that we will easily pass through it. And coming up on the right is the waterfront market. Really good place to buy your fruit, vegetables, fish, fresh meat. But be warned, you do have to haggle. You know, do not accept the first price. It can be under half. Can be under half of what they're offering so be prepared for some strong negotiations it's all good fun though and the traders expect you to to negotiate there we are 
Whoa, I can smell the fish. Over there, you've got all the fishing dows offloading. Straight into the market, nice and fresh. And here we are coming to the end of the, the navigation, end of the Corniche Canal, as I've called it. I don't know what its real name is. I'll probably guess it'll end up being called the Night Market Canal when the night market opens. And straight ahead of us, we've got the commercial port of Hamria, which deals with um, coasters. I think it has some doubt of it, mainly it's small co coasters and feeder vessels, if I'm correct. What a beautiful morning. And here we are, just going through the two buoys, which I guess mark the entrance and exit to this navigation. And we are now well on our way to the Dara. We can just see the Dara Cardinal mark in the distance. And it looks like there's already a boat on the wreck. So hopefully they'll get their dive finished and we can pick up the buoy. If not, we'll have to anchor on the wreck. Um, Dara is now a marine protected area by the government of Umul Kuwain. It will have a permanent mooring buoy on it and buoys around it um, indicating that it is an MPA. Um, the fishermen have already been instructed to stop fishing on it and close by to it. There she is. There's the Dara. Here we are. We've arrived at the Dara. This is the Cardinal Mark. We anchored just off the stern of the of the wreck in the sand and you could just see there there is a permanent buoy attached it was just easier to anchor and again the visibility was really really good and we had no current diving on the Dara you can get um, quite strong currents because the vis was so good and there was no current we just decided for this dive as it was the first one for my buddy Steve on the Dara that we would just go from stern um, to bow and back again and just have a good look at the wreck so Steve could understand it because I guarantee the next time that he dives it he won't know where he is half the time. Um, the Dara lies in 15 meters she's just four miles off the coast so she, the visibility can be affected by weather conditions very, very easily. She is home to a lot of fish, as you can see. Here we are, we're coming into the, the midsection of the ship. She was 399 feet long, or 100, just over 120 meters. And she had a beam of 16 and a half meters, or 54 feet. The explosion happened fairly midships, above, above the engine room, we, we believe. And that, you can see, that's where the most damage is. We'll just come up to that section um, shortly. So a little bit about the ship. Um, she was built in 1948 by Barclay Curl and Co in Glasgow. And the owner was a British India Steam Navigation Company. And she had a gross tonnage of 5,030 tonnes. So while we're in looking at the, the most damaged area, up comes this friendly hawksbill turtle. So you know, again, we're seeing hawksbills on wrecks in the Gulf. Um, so the work being done to conserve them is working, I believe. So here we are again, 
we're just going towards the bow uh, in the in the central broken up area now we're out of it now we've got a bit more structure and we're coming up to that there we are we're getting an okay from Steve he really likes this wreck um, and he's lucky his first dive on it and he's got these conditions um, yeah we've, we've, we, have, we have been quite lucky this year I think because we're planning the dives a bit better we get better viz because we're planning with the water movement here we are right at, on, on the foredeck right at the bow there you can see on the bow section and then we start to go back um, towards the stern where we're anchored back the way we came um, because it's Steve's first time I didn't want to go all over inside out I just wanted him to get a good appreciation well we've just had an exceptional dive on the Dara the visibility was around 10 meters you could easily see where we where you were going the current very very slight and in fact I think having a slight current improved the visibility um, we, we went down onto the stern and we did a nice leisurely dive all the way to the dow, all the way to the bow and then we came back so hopefully the footage comes out nice and you have a nice dive with me on the Dara very happy today with the way um, things turned out excellent sea conditions ideal diving conditions thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed that dive my buddy and I we really enjoyed it my buddy it was the first time he'd been on the Dara he's not done so many dives I think he's only done about 20 dives and I'm currently um, teaching him his, his specialities and he'll become an SSI advanced open water diver um, but what a great wreck so if you visit the UAE or you live in the UAE you have not really dived it until you've dived the Dara my name is Brian Davis thanks for watching I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the like button, but just watching the video is thanks enough for me. See you next time.